Good morning. I'm Lieutenant Charlie Rafferty, Davis County Fire Department. Uh, our topic of discussion today would be uh, uh, gas uh, monitoring. Uh, we have a, a four gas monitor that we, we carry on both our engines. Uh, typically some of the places we're called to to check for gas leaks, uh, whether it be combustible, oxygen levels, uh, CO would be around the, perhaps in the kitchen area around our stove, uh, bad pilot light, uh, maybe a possible gas leak behind that appliance, uh, water heater areas, furnace areas, anything that burns uh, a natural flame uh, that would not be burning 100% clean uh, has the possibility of putting off carbon um, CO. So a lot of times, uh, you know, you can have a service technician come out. It's a, a good idea annually to have your heater inspected. Uh, sometimes the burn chambers can become cracked and okay. produce CO. Uh, so that'd be one of the times we utilize our, our gas monitor. Uh, this uh, specific monitor here picks up on oxygen levels, CO, hydrogen sulfide gas, and combustibles are explosives. Uh, after we cover a little bit about our actual monitor, we have a, a demonstration prop for obvious reasons. We don't train with actual product. Uh, but we, we will show a demonstration out back uh, and talk about some propane tanks and some of the safety uh, areas along those lines. Uh, we've transitioned to out back at the East County Fire Station 5005 Highway 54. Uh, we've set up a, a, a small demonstration with a, a training unit uh, that we uh, acquired from State Fire Rescue Training. Uh, simulates everything our four gas monitor we saw inside would do. Uh, the advantages of this is we can train with a, a simulated product and not deal with actual product. Uh, we have an instructor handheld and a student handheld. We have sensors inside our building behind us. Uh, we have a, a small LP tank that we're going to simulate a leak. Uh, firefighter uh, Stephen Bell and engineer Henderson uh, will, will make entry here in a little bit. Uh, they will be checking uh, with their gas monitor once they confirm there is a leak or combustible. Uh, they will make entry, ventilate the building, uh, and then secure the tank and make sure the leak is contained. So whenever we arrived on scene, the gas that whatever was in that building, so we're going to check the high side, medium, and then low. That way if it's a low hanging gas, we can always catch where the gas is at. Uh, the meter told us that it was right there. So whenever we arrived, we opened up the door, we vented the area. The gas obviously escaped. We can kind of see a little bit better inside there. So the propane tank was actually on the left side. And in the video, you can see that I checked on the right because I had no idea. Stephen Bell found it. Um, we pulled the tank out and immediately tried to shut off the tank. That's all it was, a leaking propane tank. Uh, everything was good. The area was vented and uh, we secured the area. After we take care of the uh, tank, we're going to stick around and make sure that the uh, building is fully vented and that nobody really goes into it until it is vented. Uh, and then after that, we'll just kind of make sure uh, go back through with a gas monitor and make sure that uh, it's all clear. We are experiencing things that, that we normally wouldn't experience before in a much higher volume nowadays because people are staying home, uh, people are cooking at home, they're grilling at home, things such as that. And, and we've got a lot of our elderly folks that are, that are staying inside for various reasons uh, to be protected. Uh, we had a call just a few weeks ago where a, a couple had been at home for quite some time. Their daughter had stopped by and, and told the dad, should I smell gas? And, and he didn't smell it. And the reason they didn't smell it is they'd been inside the house, uh, you know, six, eight months, not really leaving. Uh, we came by a couple weeks after that. Uh, some friends had stopped by and smelled the gas as well. And come to find out they had a pilot light that was not uh, burning properly. And they also had a gas leak of an underground line going from the house to a garage. So, you know, things are, things are different now. We're staying home, staying in and, and doing things that we normally wouldn't do. So check on those, uh, those elderly uh, parents, grandparents, folks that you know that are that are staying home and staying quarantined uh, for whatever reason. Some things about the propane tanks. Uh, you wanna store those outside away from your house. Uh, always wanna make sure they're off. When we're grilling, we always wanna turn that, that tank off. Uh, that is a source of a leak. We can have other things that will uh, set off the gas monitor as well. You know, you've got an open paint can, an open uh, thinner can, some kind of chemical you're cleaning with out in the garage, whether it's attached or detached. Things like that will give you that smell and that, that gas soda as well. So anytime you have a problem like that, don't hesitate to reach out and call us. Uh, it could be an emergency, not emergency run, either one. Uh, we don't mind, 270-685-8440. And of course, if it's an emergency, always dial 911. Thanks and have a great day.